This is the wreckage of San Jose. It was a Spanish galleon found near the Colombian coast. But now, a new battle has unfolded around this ship. The fact is that a lot of gold, silver, and precious stones worth about $20 billion were found on board this ship. These treasures were to be delivered to King Philip V of Spain. The captain of the ship knew the British could be hunting for this gold, but still couldn't avoid the trap. On July 8, 1708, it was wrecked and sank to a depth of about 3.5 miles. But lifting a 300-year-old ship from such a depth is a very delicate, complicated, and expensive process. And the wreckage of San Jose remains the most precious in the world. But divers often find gold and other treasures at the bottom of the ocean actually quite often. A much more interesting discovery was found near the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. It looks not just strange, but sinister. It's an underwater river at a depth of 100 feet. Such an anomaly formed in a tunnel which was filled with fresh rainwater. But at the bottom of the funnel was a source of salty groundwater. Because of the density difference, these waters don't mix, and you can see a clear surface of the saltwater stream. If you pour some oil into a glass and then some water, you'll see the same effect. Cenote Angelita has become a popular place for divers and source of many funny photos. The next find seriously stirred up fans of myths about Atlantis. This is the Yanaguni Monument, huge stone formations at a depth of 85 feet. Divers trace the clear contours of the pyramids, streets, and stairs there. The entire structure is about half a soccer field in size. It's about 5,000 years old, and some walls there have carvings. Many believe these are the remains of the legendary civilizations of Mu or Lemuria. But their technology simply wouldn't allow them to build such a structure. So, many myths and assumptions were spread around Yanaguni Monument, but also a lot of skepticism. Scientists claim that the monument appeared naturally, by means of underwater currents that form the hard stones in this way. And what divers call carvings are actually just scratches. And while scientists have come to clear conclusions, many archaeologists continue to argue that Yanaguni Monument is human-made, and it has pyramids, roads, and even a stadium. This underwater city needs no room for speculation, as we know its origin. Lion City. It's still in almost perfect condition. Arches, statues, decorations on the walls, and even wooden structures. All this has been preserved at a depth comparable to a subway car length. At the dawn of this city, an advanced and very powerful society lived there. Some finds there are about 1,300 years old. In 1959, the city was flooded in order to build a new hydroelectric power plant. So, in place of the great city, now stands human-made Qian Dao Lake. For decades, this place was forgotten until 2001. A tour of divers accidentally stumbled upon it. Now this place is popular among experienced divers from all over the world. Baltic Sea Anomaly This thing has generated a lot of disputes and conspiracy theories around the world. It was found in June 2011 in the Baltic Sea. The object is similar in shape to the Star Wars Millennium Falcon and was like a hockey rink in length. Many people believe this is an alien flying ship that crashed on our planet. Uh-huh. Others believe it is the remnants of an ancient city sank in the waves many years ago. When divers finally managed to get to this strange object, they took samples and gave them to scientists for analysis. This stone formation was part of a glacier, of which there is a lot in that area. However, the team that found this anomaly continues to claim it's more than just that. They say when they approached this object, all electrical equipment just stopped working. And when they were coming back, the equipment would come back to normal. Now, to see this underwater city, you can dive even without scuba gear. This is Heracleon, also known as Tronis. It is located at a depth about the length of a school bus. This city is at least 14,000 years old. Its ruins were found by the French underwater archaeologist Frank Gogio in 1999. Many coins, dishes, and unfinished statues of the deities were found there. In 2010, the ancient Egyptian boat Beris was raised to the surface. Despite the huge number of archaeological finds, only 5% of the city have been researched yet. In 2012, divers came across an unknown anomaly, a luminous spiral of incredible size. It lay quietly on the bottom of the sea near the western coast of Australia. It turned out to be a living creature, which is called Apolemia. Yet it's not one creature, but a whole colony of sea creatures called Senonophores. They cling to each other, forming a centipede of incredible length. 
the outer ring of this particular spiral-shaped apolemia was about 154 feet long. For comparison, the largest blue whale that ever existed was only 98 feet long. But even more surprising is the fact that this thing is a predator. It turns out this spiral creature has parts that are responsible for hunting, and its other parts digest food. Apolemia doesn't lie on the bottom and wait for something to fall into its mouth, either. It can swim and hunt for small plankton, fish, and even other apolemias. Even though they're incredibly rare, you still need to be aware of them because their stings are quite dangerous. Antikythera Mechanism Say that with me, Antikythera. In 1901, a crew of sponge divers discovered the wreckage of a Roman cargo ship as deep as a football field is wide. The crew collected many valuable artifacts – statues of bronze and marble, pottery, jewelry, and a computer. What? A computer on a Roman ship? Well, the Antikythera mechanism is considered one of the oldest analogs of the modern computer. For years, scientists couldn't understand what kind of mechanism it was. But when they tested it with x-ray, everything changed. It was made by the Greek masters and is dated approximately 100 to 150 years BCE. The Antikythera mechanism turned out to be a complex machine, consisting of about 30 bronze gears. It was used to follow the movements of the sun and moon, and to predict eclipses. This underwater find didn't bring $20 billion, as the treasure of the wreckage of San Jose, but the knowledge it gave to historians and researchers is priceless. Here's another one. Two divers were going to photograph blue sharks, but their lenses caught something more amazing – a giant jellyfish. As the divers themselves said, it was like a massive boiled egg which appeared out of nowhere. It was a barrel jellyfish of abnormal size. The thing was almost 5 feet in diameter, and its length was almost like the divers themselves. This is the biggest jellyfish ever found in the British seas. Although they are considered non-dangerous, they are still gentle giants. Meanwhile, this discovery in a Brazilian river will make you stay away from diving. A giant anaconda. Bartolomeo Bove and his partner filmed one of the biggest anacondas ever found. It had the length of an adult giraffe and weighed more than the average human. And while Bartolomeo got used to swimming near sharks, mating this snake was an adrenaline-pumping exercise for him. Thankfully, the snake was quite curious and harmless. One of the most interesting places for diving is surprisingly far from seas and oceans. Orta Cave. It's found in the west of the Ural Mountains and is shaped like a siphon. The underwater part of the cave system stretches for 3 miles, so this makes it one of the longest underwater tunnels on our planet. But its most outstanding feature is water. The environment rich in minerals cleans the water and makes it crystal clear. Divers can clearly see at a distance of 150 feet. This means that Orta Cave is just the perfect place for underwater photography. Like that giant octopus about to get you. Ha! Made you look! <laughs>